Marines are different. They like to think they're the best. Their culture is a warrior spirit. We consider ourselves warriors, and we have an obligation to be the most ready when the nation is the least ready, and do the kinds of things that our country would ask of its elite warriors. The Marines are smaller than the other major military services. They're more oriented on combat. Throughout history, at times, killing is necessary. The Marines run to the sound of the guns. Marines understand that what they do is a brutal business, but they never lose their humanity. They're the most ancient of all the armed services. I say ancient, not primitive. They're arguably the most functional of all the armed services. They're a cult that works. They're a gang that's lawful. To me, it's the baddest fraternity on the planet. That, uh, that you can belong to. Semper Fidelis, always faithful. Hurry up! Marines, more than any service unit, emphasize that notion of camaraderie. A kind of specialness and a special camaraderie to each other. There's a myth out there that the Marines are Neanderthals. I actually find the Marines very intellectual. Roger that. Okay, to Watts, I want Marines, I firmly believe, are idealists to their core, who really, truly believe that they can, in some way, help make the world a better place. They live in such a tough world that they have to cloak their idealism in a shell just to survive. The professional warrior has a very strong emphasis on a code of ethics. Integrity, morality is a big factor. Our core values, honor, courage, and commitment, that's the foundation of that ethos. Repeat after me. When we took that oath, uh, okay, we promised everybody in our country that for four years or for a lifetime, we'd give them the best we had, and we do every day. Marines don't argue about should we or should we not have intervened. Let's go. The mission is everything. And a Marine, no matter how many times you knock him down, he's gonna get to his feet. And that probably makes us as feared as any organization in the world. We are the nation's first line of defense. But if you do something wrong to the country, we're the last people you wanna see coming at your door. That reputation has been well earned over the last 230 years.